Hey guys, Vicky Burrows here. So why do you get up in the morning? What's your why? What? Why? Why do you get up out of bed? Is it because you want to make a difference in people's lives? Do you want to get up every day and look forward to meeting that one person who's just going to need some inspiring word? Or do you wake up in the morning looking to be inspired by other people? Are you looking to serve people? Are you trying to serve people? Or do you wake up every day trying to have others serve you? There's a time for that. There's a time when you're going to need people to step in and help you out. There's going to be a time for that. But it should not be every day. This, this should not be um, what you wake up for so that others will um, the others will inspire you you need to wake up with the mentality that you are getting up to tomorrow and that you are going to decide I'm going to be an inspiration to other people now what would that look like how would that how would that make you feel that if you got up and then all of a sudden you just started turning things around that you went out and instead of this grumpy negative attitude um, that everybody felt better after they spoke to you. Imagine that. Imagine for a second that when people are around you, around your habits, your new habits, that they just get the mentality of like, hey, I like being around this person. I feel better when I'm around them. They inspire me. You know, they, and then all of a sudden you have other people just chasing you. You have people who are, um, trying to get in touch with you so that they can just talk to you as hard as it seems this life really isn't about you or when i should say it this life really isn't about me it's about it's about making that impact on somebody else's life and imagine a world where that's how people woke up to where everybody just woke up and then all of a sudden their goal is to make an impact on other, on other people. Now in a perfect world, that's a really beautiful place. But you can start making a difference right now. You know, I was reading Robert Kiyosaki's uh, book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I can't remember where it was in the book. Um, it's just... Um, it's just some, one of those things that I was like, oh, I, I don't know if I was going to read it, but then all of a sudden, I just heard so many people saying it, and um, um, I just, I bought the book, and I read it all the way through, and and boy, it's, I'll tell you, um, you can check it out in the, in the description below, but he made a point about how the world around you is a reflection of your habits. And I was totally blown away by that. He says, when you go around, try this. Go around to people and smile. And you will get people to just smile right back at them. And as corny as this all sounds, and it's like, oh, geez, you know, whatever. But try it. Try being super positive around people, and then guess what? Then they start reflecting that. They just, they need that. Other people are hurting for that. And then when you give and you serve the people, it just becomes fun. It just starts to build up inside you of like, hey, you know, I can get up and I can start, you know, ministering to people. What's wrong with that? What are the consequences? Think about that one. You... Think think about the how rare it is to have that one person who takes advantage of you. Think about that. It is so extremely rare to have that person, you know, take full advantage of you. I think I won't say extremely rare. I just say it, it's 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 rare because people in this world are just they're suffering and they just want to be around a source of encouragement and then they'll say to you 
you know, what makes you happy? You know, what is it that you have? For me, it's a relationship with God, the living God. And I want to make an impact on other people's lives by doing that. I cherish that. I protect that. It's one of my most prized possessions is that knowledge of God and the relationship that, that he wants to have with me. And so when I wake up in the morning, I look forward to just making an impact on people's lives. Some clearly do not receive it, and that's okay. I don't have to please everybody. That's not what the Bible teaches. That's not what the scripture teaches. You're not called to make everybody happy. You're not called to do that. You're only called to be obedient. And when you obey God and you find rest and you find peace and you are filled and filled and filled with peace and then you can all of a sudden just pour it out on other people, that's contagious. You'll notice how Jesus never chased anybody. How the people were chasing him. And when people didn't want to be around him, he just turned around and walked away. He didn't argue with people. He didn't strive with people. He always just challenged them. He said, believe, repent, and follow me. And I hope that encourages you. That, you know, you can have a purpose. That you could wake up in the morning. And then you can look forward to making a difference and impact on people. You know, find me on Facebook if you want more information about how to become a Christian. You know? And I hope that inspires you. Take care.